In a school with multi-skilled, innovative, adventurous and passionate students, the possibilities are endless. At Gaza High School, the students formed a school studio to serve in a number of functions. Besides documenting a number of events at school, the GTC studio has continuously helped teachers and school clubs integrate ICT in their activities. For example, the Science Club is working with the school studio on an education series that seeks to interest more students into science, encourage peer-to-peer -peer learning, and to close the gap between resourced and under-resourced schools. Welcome yet again to another edition of the GTC Studios of the Science E-Content Series. Uh, right here we are having Nacho Sibela and of course in the show with Luca Dois Lois. And the E-Content is mainly about learning using technology and this is this is a way of making education more interesting. And then you are like watching television so it gets interesting because you are watching television but you are learning something. We all realize that many schools out there don't have the facilities to bring about the practicals and this greatly affects their performance at the final exams. So as the Gaza High School Science Club, we bring you the process of the dissection of a cow's eye. Hope you have fun and pick up something out of it. Thank Esther Naziwa, one of the students that prepared the dissection of a cow's eye video, had this to say when asked about her experience. I had fun working with my fellow students because we were learning from one another, we were able to get the dissection done very fast, like someone would know how to cut across a different part from the one I would cut across most comfortably and with time we were able to learn how to do each part individually and the time we took in preparing for it and getting used to it, I also mastered the art of dissection. As a student, I've got more confidence to speak to my fellow students about different topics because right now I can do dissection anytime I can explain it to anyone and I'm very much familiar with the parts of the cow's eye and the fact that it was filmed it gave me more confidence and in terms of presentation because you don't appear on camera when you're not ready and the fact that we had to get ready for this thing I have been able to improve my communication skills as a student I have interacted with many other students before from different kinds of backgrounds different kinds of schools and from talking to them and sharing them our knowledge, I realize that some of them do not have access to the same facilities we do. Some of them do not even get to touch the animals or even get to dissect. They don't even have the materials they need to dissect. So by the time they reach the final papers, they're not ready for the dissection and they're caught and they're wet. And well, I thought that maybe we could do something that would help them so that by the time they reach, we're all at par, almost at par. So we came up with the idea of having the cow's eye dissected and putting it on camera so that maybe the product could be put on computer or maybe on TV so that the, the students can watch it because right now this is a very much digital age and yeah they can access these things at any time they need them. When asked about how they have tried to create an audience for their video, Esther said, We've worked with our teachers to collaborate with their fellow teachers so that they can give them our product that they can show their students and we've also put up copies on internet such as YouTube so that they can be accessed at any time. And in our school particularly, we've been able to broadcast it to the students using the GTS studios. When asked about the relevance of the studio to the school and to a student, this is what Nancha Sibela had to say. First of all, to the student, it helps them to get the skills, for example, knowing how to interview people or how to come up with a presentation. Or it actually helps the people, the students, to actually get practice maybe for their future careers. And to the school, it helps the, the school to actually know that people have talent in the different things and help the students develop their talents in the different ways. And also that actually the school can be marketed. And While most people think student participation in such projects is a waste of time, Nancha Sibela thinks differently. My participation in the studio has affected my life in a positive way because I've been able to get to know that I can actually help people in different ways. For example, I know that with the information that we've come up with, we can actually help people who are far away, but learn that I can actually operate the machines, I can actually organize something and it comes out very well. I, I, I can actually talk in front of a camera and talk to people 
talk to them with boldness and actually be able to explain something and make learning interesting because as a presenter you get to know that sometimes students get tired of seeing that chalk and that dust and that chair writing things but when they see visual things like television it lightens them up so I've been able to achieve that I'm actually making education interesting and the studio adds me the value of Okay, besides the books, because at, at times books can get a little bit stressy, so when you come to do the studio work, it's actually not more of books and everything, but you get to relieve that stress, and you get to practice what you study in class, for example, in physics, the lenses, the focusing and everything, and you can actually get to know how to operate the machines without, because most times you study about them in class, but we never get to practice, so the studio actually helps you to practice and also discover yourself elsewhere, like, can you speak among people? Can you do this? Yeah.